News poll worker training is taking place across the state as something new is on the horizon for voters. 12 News' Deidre Briscoe introduces us to what's to come. Some voters will turn up to the polls and be surprised when they encounter new machines. In this congressional election, voters will choose their nominee for the general election. 60% of the state's registered voters will be voting on the new machines come June 7th. Changes will include everything from the way we sign in to the way we vote looking different in some of the larger counties. Electronic signature machine that you can scan your driver's license. If you have a, any type of state issue ID, those new IDs that have the gold star on there, they can be scanned. We will also have the old uh, signature books like we have always had. Um, the machine is new. It will be a paper ballot that you fill in the ovals like those old Scantron sheets and you scan it in. 35 counties have the new voting machines while others don't. Finances being the reason. But that will soon change thanks to a new grant that was recently passed by the House. Now one senator is championing the Mississippi Voting Modernization Act. We want to make sure that across the state, whether you live in a, a populated wealthy county or a very rural, maybe not so wealthy county, that you had access to the same type of voting machines um, that you would have in a more wealthy area or a more populated area. On the ballot in the 4th Congressional District are seven Republican candidates and two Democrat candidates. If a runoff election occurs, it will happen June 28th. With this grant, some counties who've already spent the money will receive their money back. And in the near future, all counties will have this new modern voting system. Reporting in Forest County, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.